Okay, so this is the lounge. Initially, it was two rooms. Uh, this would have been the front room and then you have a back room. It's typical of uh, terraced houses in the South Wales Valleys. Today, most people like to have uh, an open plan feel to a property. So what we've done is we've actually taken down what we call the load bearing wall. And when you take down a load bearing wall, you need to install an RSJ or a rolled steam joist. Before you take any structure down within a property, you have to have a building application notice and you have to apply from this in your local authority. It's part of the building regulations that come in in 2006, which encompasses refurbishments. And the reason that we have to put in an RSJ is because the actual span, the beams from the front of the property to the back of the property, won't actually hold up the structure that's above it. We also can take off the bounce from upstairs by putting in this structure. When you're dealing with an RSJ, which is a steel beam, you have to have calculations from a structural engineer. These calculations have to be submitted to building control before you actually start putting the RSJ in place. Okay, so in this case, our RSJ is going to go here across our beams where our load bearing wall came out. We need a 150mm bearing on this beam and rather than disturb the neighbouring wall, that's the wall between us and next door, the way that we are going to do it is build out from this chimney breast and we're going to build up a pillar and we are going to come down 150mm at the top where the RSJ is going to sit and that will sit on a concrete pad and that pad is known as a pad stone. And the reason the beam sits on that is that it actually distributes the weight of that beam. 